Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, July 29, 2014. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, school around our viewing area are opening this week, and the Tullahoma Police Department has some tips about keeping our children safe. Franklin County received three grants last week, totaling nearly half a million dollars. Unemployment numbers rose in all 95 counties last month. We'll speak with Coffee County Election Administrator Vernita Davis, and we'll take you to the Airfoilers War Warbird Fly-In held last Saturday. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick market where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any quick mart today and not only save time, but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. Let the Smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop thesmokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. Are you a shoeanista with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bryn's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bryn's. A shoeanista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, Jay Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Tullahoma. Welcome back. Tullahoma City Schools, <clears throat> excuse me, Tullahoma City Schools open for the fall session today. The Tullahoma Police Department was out in force to help ensure that all students arrive and depart school as safely as possible. The department is asking for the help and cooperation of all drivers as they travel city streets in the mornings and afternoons. <clears throat> Officers are particularly watchful for traffic violators, especially speeders in school zones and children not buckled up or not in a proper child restraint system. Traffic in and around school zones will be heavily, uh, especially heavy the first few days of the new school year, so drivers should factor in extra time for this congestion to prevent having to rush. All parents and drivers are reminded of the following. All Tullahoma school zones are 15 miles per hour when children are present or the school zone lights are activated. Anyone cited for speeding in a school zone could also be found guilty of reckless driving. Children cannot be dropped off on streets, side streets, or crosswalks. Illegally parked vehicles outside the school zone present a hazard to walking or biking school children, congest traffic, and irritates local property owners. Children should not be dropped off or otherwise arrive at school before it opens and unlocks its doors. Check with your school four times. While Tullahoma City Schools do not use a bus system, some school buses do operate in the city, so remember it is illegal to pass any school bus from either direction that has stopped and extended its stop sign and activated flashing lights. Finally, don't drive distracted. Hang up cell phones, focus on the unexpected, and closely watch crossing guards for instructions. Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam announced last week three grants totaling nearly $500,000 for revitalization efforts in downtown Winchester, renovations to campsites and trails in Timms Ford State Park, and funds to replace the lights at Babe Ruth Field in Deckard. 
a $372,299 transportation alternative grant from the Tennessee Department of Transportation to the city of Winchester will fund phase five of the downtown revitalization project, including improvements to North Jefferson Street. Motorists and pedestrians utilize this route to access the downtown district from the north side of Winchester. Sidewalks will be reconstructed and crosswalks will be added along with new signs and landscaping. A $42,000 Recreation Trails Program grant for Thames Ford State Park from the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation will help support renovations to the popular water trail campsites, develop new backcountry campsites, and rehabilitate several miles of trail along the shorelines of the park. An $80,000 Local Park and Recreation Fund grant from TDEA, TDEC will help the city of Deckard replace the lights at the Babe Ruth Field. Senator Janice Bowling, Representative David Alexander, and Representative Billy Spivey represent Franklin County in the Tennessee General Assembly. The Department of Labor and Workforce Development says unemployment went up in all 95 counties in June compared to May. Coffee County's rate went up by a full point to 6.6 percent last month as more than 1,700 people are unemployed. The Bedford County rate went up from nearly uh, from 6.1 percent to 7.5 percent. Nearly 17 people are also looking for work there. 1,400 are without jobs in Franklin County. The rate there jumped from 5.8 percent to 7 percent in June. Warren County's rate stood at 8.2 percent last month, up from 6.9 percent in May. The Grundy County rate went from 8.1 percent to 9.5 percent. Rutherford County unemployment jumped by a point to 6 percent. Lincoln County had the lowest rate in the state at 5.2 percent, while Lawrence County was the highest at 10.4 percent. The statewide jobless rate for June was 6.6 percent. More than 336,000 Tennessee residents will split $10 million in refunds from health care insurance companies because of a provision in the Affordable Health Care Act. The Nashville Tennessean reported the refunds will average $53 per family and came about because of, the, because of medical loss ratio rule in the law. That provision requires insurers to spend at least 80% of insurance premiums on patient care and quality improvement efforts. The refunds are for premiums paid in 2013. In 2012, refunds to Tennesseans to totaled $5.6 million. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment. If you're looking for a new vehicle this summer, Stamming Ave Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram needs to be your first stop. The all-new 2015 Chrysler 200 is here, and it's been completely redesigned. And we have a huge selection of Jeep Wranglers, Jeep Cherokees, and Jeep Grand Cherokees to make your summer travels one of style and luxury. Our lot is packed with new Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, and Rams. So check us out at StammingAveCDJ.com or come see us in Tullahoma. It'll be worth your while for the best deal on a new car this summer. Don't risk losing the Social Security disability benefits you have earned. I'm Russell Hedges with Moore & Hedges Attorneys at Law. I bring over 25 years of experience and dedication to your case. My Social Security team will walk you through the process. We can increase your chances of winning and maximize the benefits due to you. If we do not win, you will not owe us a fee. Call me, Russell Hedges with Moore & Hedges Attorneys at Law for maximum returns and minimum concerns. Have you met your perfect match? It's here at Merle Norman. With over 190 shades, 13 formulas and four finishes, we'll help you select the one that's just right for you. Ask for your free foundation check today. Merle Norman, made in the USA. Visit your nearest Merle Norman cosmetic studio for your personalized service. Welcome back with Election Day just around the corner. We stopped by the Administrative Plaza in Manchester and spoke with Coffee County Election Administrator Bernita Davis about this year's process. Tonight we bring you part one of that interview. Bernita, tell us um, what your staff has to go through to prepare uh, for this election coming up on August 7th. Well, first of all, we have to um, give all the candidates petitions and then they they have their primary in May, and then after the May primary, then we take all those winners who won in, in May, and we have to send those names to the uh, election software. Those are the people who program our machines, so then they program 
uh, our PEBs for us, and then whenever we get those back, we have to test all of our machines, make sure all the all of those PEBs work, and that's a that's a good day and a half job within itself right there. And then from there, we have sample ballots printed, we have paper ballots printed for the people who want to vote absentee, and then of course set the machines up and. First, we set up the early voting machines, and there's usually eight of those, four for Tahoma and four for Manchester. And then from there, in another day or two days, the machine technicians will set up the election day machines. And then, of course, all of those has to be certified. We have to have absentee ballot boxes uh, prepared, and those have to be certified with with two seals, two locks, and they have to be certified by a member of each party uh, of the commission. So there's a lot of there's a lot of behind the scenes work that is not out front for people to really see. Now, <clears throat> early voting ends the sat Saturday, August the second. Right. And it's my understanding that you've had a really good turnout. Uh, for, for early voting this year. We have had a really good turnout. As of Saturday, the ending totals for Saturday was 3,080. And so we still have another full week to go, so we're hoping for another 3,000. Does that tell you that, that uh, overall early voting and people who vote on election day that this would be a good turnout for this year's election? Yes. Usually early, early voting will count for at least half of the people voting in the election. So we're hoping that this one holds true. There has been, uh, at least it appears, a resurgence in the Republican Party. A lot of the folks in Coffee County in the past have been Democrats who have helped, those, helped the, the county offices, but it seems that the Republican Party has a, made a pretty concerted effort to get their candidates out there and to get people involved in the process. Do you think that maybe has contributed to more interest in these elections? It, it could be part of it, and I do have to say the Republican Party has worked really hard to get candidates, to get candidates out there, and uh, it's just, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see how everything pans out you know, after all the votes are tallied, but I mean, they have a good, but they have a good chance. Yes, and for right now, the, the turnout's looking like it's going to be a very good election as far as turnout. Yes. You, th there are primary elections in this, in this cycle. There are also general elections in this cycle. Can you explain to the voters what they, what they need to be aware of when they go to the polls to vote? Because, uh, the, in the case, if they want to vote in a primary, they have to declare their party, is it? Right. Okay. There is a state uh, Republican and Democrat primary, which is for governor, Congress, uh, Senate, Senate, and only in the state section of the ballot do you have to declare party affiliation. And if you don't want to uh, declare, you're welcome to vote the general ballot, no, no matter what. Uh, for the party affiliation, that is just saying that if I voted as a Republican, then I will I nominate John Doe to be my candidate for the for for the general in the state general election. And then so that's what we did in May on countywide and that's what we're doing in August for the and, and in, then in November the state will have their general election. And we'll have more from Vernita Davis on Thursday's newscast. More's new, more News Leader on 6 is coming up right after these messages. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration, your number one hometown HVAC company. We offer dependable and reliable service on all your HVAC equipment. We also offer high efficiency trained cooling units with some special financing through the end of June. Call us for your cooling needs. Your comfort is what we do. It's coming! Oh, 
All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Trucks! Trucks! The number one selling truck for 35 years straight, the Ford F-Series, can be found at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester. We have a huge selection of over 100 trucks to choose from. With Ford manufactured rebates and incentives up to $10,000 or 0% financing available, now is the time to buy. So come on down to Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma and Winchester and remember... Trucks! Trucks! And more trucks! Why buy anywhere else? Welcome back. The Coffee County Airfoilers held their annual Warbirds fly-in last Saturday. News leader's John Gray brings us this report. Okay, folks, we're out here today at the model airplane fly-in here at Tullahoma. And you can see some of the different types of folks that are out here and some of the wonderful types of aircraft that are out here. Here's helicopters and and airplanes and a lot of folks are here camped out and have their tents and here's a jet right here coming across it's putting on the show right now Like he's slowing down, coming in for a landing. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that something? Great job. All right, we're out here now with Paul Green, and he is the contest director for the event. Paul, what is the event you're having today? Today is called Warbirds Over Tullahoma. This is a fun fly. It is all scale airplanes today, and you will see things uh, from uh, little electric ducted fans, little electric uh, warbirds, all the way up to, we just had a, a demo flight of a turbine. So we have all sizes, uh, including helicopters, of uh, scale model aircraft, all warbirds today. We call them warbirds. They are um, military aircraft from pre-World War one all the way through today's most modern fighters. Right, right. And and who's putting this on? This is Coffee Airfoilers Model Airplane Club. And we hold this event annually. Um, Coffee Airfoilers has been at this site that you're now standing on uh, uh, since 1959. So we are a long-term club here uh, located at Arnold Air Force Base, um, Tullahoma. And as we look out through here, you see, I mean, it's just like being at the airport right here. Look at that. Isn't that good looking? All these planes out here. And this is all happening in Tullahoma. And it's an annual event here. And people come from all over the southeast to fly their planes at this great site up here. Look at here. Now here's a good looking thing right here. I mean, that's gorgeous. That Jerry Amalang over there is who I'm talking about. <laughs> And a good looking dog to go with it. Look at that guy, look at that pilot in there. He got a smile on his face. Yeah. I believe if I was flying that, I'd have a smile on my face too. I take it you built that baby. I did. Yes, From sir. scratch. Yep. How long you been work how long you been doing this kind of thing, sir? About 68 years. 68 years. Yeah. How many planes have you built in 68 years? <laughs> <laughs> Too many? <laughs> Yeah, but how many have I crashed since <laughs> <laughs> Do you build one a year? About, yeah. About? Yeah. See, folks, now this is what you get to see when you show up at Telehome on a beautiful Saturday. In, uh, in, uh, you just never know what you're going to find. Today we're finding some of the greatest looking model and crafted airplanes by folks who've been doing it for a lifetime. Uh, and flying them out here on this beautiful sky. Look at there. Look at that one up there. 
right out here at Arnold Center. And uh, again, Jerry, what's the name of the club? Coffee Air Force. Jerry Amalang and, and guys like this are what have make all this happen in Tullahoma for these folks to be able to come and enjoy this lovely place. And uh, we appreciate them, everyone. We'll be right back after these messages. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Works of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. This is for my daddy and the chips. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn? Early light, what's up, me We hailed at the twilight to last screaming. Um. At Charter, we're connecting military families with free webcams and the fastest, most reliable internet speeds. Get your webcam at charter.com slash can you see. I miss you, Daddy. Welcome back. Tonight we bring you the final installment of the Fantasy Radio Candidates Meet and Greet as more candidates make their case to garner your vote. Let's watch. Hi, uh, my name is Don Nickel. I'm running for uh, Coffee County Clerk. I'm a uh, veteran, a husband, and a father of two. My kids both attend uh, Coffee County Central High. I'm very excited to be a part of the Republican um, group that's coming in trying to uh, clean the county budget and uh, prevent taxes from being raised, whether it be uh, wheel tax or uh, property tax. I'd really appreciate your support. Early voting starts uh, July 18th, and I really would like to have your vote. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm uh, Zach Moyudin. I'm running for the County Commissioner, for Coffee County Commissioner from District 15, which is around Grace Baptist Church, the Andrews Ridge area. Uh, I'm, I'm running because I've always followed community service, but this is the first time I'm running. That uh, There are two things I'll bring in. One is I'll pay attention to details and ask the right questions. And those would be good for... Uh, the jail, why do we have a brand new jail that's but not needing more monies to, to operate it. I'm also strong on having a strong library and on the on the ambulance service, I think our Coffee County ambulance should be only for emergencies because you get to wear and tear of the equipment for non-emergency transports. If it takes something, I want to take it seriously and <clears throat> that's why I'm, I'm running. If I do, I will pay for full attention. So I certainly hope that uh, it, it happens. I'm looking forward to it. I have enjoyed uh, my first run, and it, it, it is it is something that um, I, I hope it succeeds in, in, in a way. But again, I, I hope for your votes. I uh, oh, hope it happens, and, and I appreciate the opportunity. Hello, my name is Kimberly Martin, and I am running for County Commissioner in District 17. I really would appreciate your support August 7th. I'm a Tullahoma graduate, and I'm excited uh, to meet all my neighbors. It's been a wonderful experience, and I can't wait to see us change Coffee County for our future generations. Thank you. Hi, my name is Harold Spear, and I'm running for District 10 Coffee County Commissioner, and I would certainly appreciate your vote. I look forward to doing what I can to make sure that our tax dollars are responsibly uh, put to good use. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jackie Duncan, and i um, running for Coffee County Commissioner, District 19, and even though I'm running unopposed, I just want to encourage everybody to go out and vote. You know, and I, I appreciate it. I'm just thankful to Tullahoma that I am running unopposed. But 
um, please go out and vote. You know, it's, it's your civic duty. It's a right that I think we all ought to take advantage of. And it's, a lot of people have died and and uh, for that right. And it's, it's a blessing to be able to go and vote. So I encourage you all just to please go out and vote. And thank you very much. Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include young, talented singer Macy Tabor, who will give us a sample of what to expect at this year's South Jackson Goes Country. Local organic berry farm owner Joyce Graham will invite everyone to come by her place on Rock Creek Road for blueberries and blackberries. We'll have all that and more on this week's Living. Stay with us. We'll be right back with your weather forecast right after these messages. It's a Kia Cadenza kind of day at Russell Barnett Kia of Tullahoma. This luxurious Kia has too many features to mention with prices starting as low as $33,943. With America's best warranty, the 10-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. We have a huge selection to choose from here at Russell Barnett Kia and mention this ad and receive an additional $500 off your next Kia Cadenza purchase. And remember, why buy? anywhere else. An annual event started in 1939 will continue on August 20th through August 30th, 2014, when the World Grand Championship Celebration will once again be held in Shelbyville, Tennessee at the Celebration Arena. Each year, people come from all over the world to contend for the coveted honor of being crowned World Grand Champion. From the wonderful flat shod to the exciting performance horse, they will fill the ring with the breed's best of the best. The celebration supports local charities, and this year they are asking everyone to come out and support the largest nonprofit event in Middle Tennessee and the 14 charities that depend on this event to fund their cause. Come out and be a part of a family tradition by showing your support to the 76th Annual Walking Horse National Celebration. For ticket and box seat information, call 931-684-5915. Here at the International Dateline, charter scientists are bringing you tomorrow's technology today. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Like the nation's most powerful internet and TV in HD with free DVR. Record your favorite shows to watch on your schedule. Anytime in the future. Good morning, Doctor. <laughs> Get a free DVR when you bundle and let it all in. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history this day. Our record high was in 1930 at 105 degrees. The record low was in 1984 at 53 degrees. Average high on this day is 87, and the average low is 67. Tonight, look for mostly clear weather with a low of around 54. Mostly sunny weather in your forecast for Wednesday with a high of 84 and a low of 60. Partly sunny weather on tap for Thursday with a high of 83 and a low of 62. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening. <laughs>